This video is brought to you by the Sunlam Foundation. In the second part to this series, we will look at the debt trap that students experience post leaving university. And this is where financial planning goes completely wrong. It starts off with how do you start a career and a family. In the old days we looked at find a job, graduate and then start working. Well it's very different today because people run off on this track and they go start working, find a car, upgrade to a bigger car, then find some digs, then buy them. Then they get all the toys that they promised themselves during their student years. So we get an iPad, an iPod, an iPhone, a Mac and an iron. And then we go on and to find a spouse in the next 10 years. And that doubles all the costs and adds in shacked up, knocked up, hitched kids, in-laws and outlaws. All of this adds up to a debt trap where people simply are spending far more than they can afford. The result is that we get graduates who, by the time they get to 25 or 30 years old, are flat broke. But there is no escape because they have made commitments to pay for cars, five years, cell phones, two years, and a house, even 20 years. And you get a life sentence for spouse, pets, and kids. All of this leaves people in a very difficult position. It can lead to all the social diseases. These are called the dreaded Ds. They don't only stand for debt. They also stand for down and out, depressed, drunk, drugs, dumped, etc. Many students say at age 30, if I could only do it all again, play it again, Sam. So this is how we should be doing it. In the first five years, we are looking to start working, establish your employment package, let's get a job, then establish how much you're going to take home. Then manage your risks of living in the new South Africa, create a family budget, then read the menu and decide what you are wanting to do. There's a lot that we're going to do in a lifetime. We don't have to do it all within five years. Here are some useful tips for starting off. You need some help. These issues are simply not included in the university curriculum. One needs a professional financial advisor or coach to help you identify all these risks. Then one needs to live for two years post-graduation and consolidate your lifestyle and contain your long-term commitments. Think 10 times before you borrow. You don't need to. You can simply live on cash cards and internet banking. One does not need to live on a credit card. Then one finds that one's earning potential will grow. On average, graduates' income doubles every three years. And one finds that in the absence of debt, family finances tend to sort themselves out. Remember that your career spans 40 years if you keep your health. And there's plenty of time to establish both all the toys, a family, and a financial plan. This video is brought to you by the Sunlam Foundation.